There's no ARG in this video. Don't try to find one. You won't. Blood nut. The only one you'll find is the ARG that stands for... Are you guys ready to talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Flawlessly executed. <laughs> Never been a better transition. Nope. Never. D do you guys like the sea? What? The ocean? The water? Where the where the water be? I like the ocean. So anyway, today we're gonna be talking about some Digimon that belong in the sea. This is a brand new line of Digimon from Digimon Liberator. Uh, specifically, Where? the last two in this line are brand spanking new as of the time of this recording. To the point that like the official art for the final form came out like last week as of the time of this recording. The first form is from like 2020, and the second form is from a long time ago. So kind of a, a general spread of, of Digimon eras here uh, today that we're going to be going over. We're going to be talking about their names, we're going to be talking about their attacks, and there's only four, so. I do, I do have a bonus round prepared if we happen to be in a tie situation, but. Mm. <laughs> a tie situation. Get it? Ha! <laughs> Put ties. Tie. We're going to jump into round one. Here we go. Here is the first Digimon in this in this gross gross ass line that we're gonna be talking about today. Oh, this no. one's this one's kind of gross in a cute way, I guess. But here oh. he is. Here's our oh, rookie form. I've seen it. It's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Got a little fish back it. there. A little wind up fish, just kind of yeah, living a, on uh, him. My my least favorite part are just the arms. I don't like what's on the end of them. I don't understand. Oh, the little the little little buttholes. Yep. Yeah. Confirmed Flower. buttholes. Flower buttholes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, pink socks, mm. as they're known. I'm trying to remember Stop. what it reminds me of. Is it called, like, Siakumon or something? It's got, like, those eyes. It's got those eyes. It's just an Agumon, uh... Shit! Hiding. <laughs> and we call it... Are you gonna be like, this is actually part of the Agumon line? <laughs> no fucking shot. I would... Leave. Yeah, this is actually just the original Agumon design. Um, so is this guy, is this seafaring creature, is this Koromon, Sangomon, Reefmon, or Anemomon? Koromon. <laughs> Anemomon is a fun play on that on the word. That's fun. What word? Um, Anemone. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't wait for someone else to come in and say our improv songs. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we gotta start scripting these quizzes according to that guy. It's the only way to solve that content. one really straight there, big man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking John go... 20 numbers wants us to script our quizzes. <laughs> it's a genius <laughs> fucking solution. Yeah. Oh, well. Um,. I, th I feel like Sangomon is just strange enough to be uh, throwing throwing us off. I'm just gonna hit it, Reefmon. I'm just gonna okay. hit Reefmon on this. Gonna I think Sangomon is. Reefmon? Wow, good one. I cannot punch my microphone again. Please do not <laughs> tempt me. I can. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have you know that was a scripted joke. Ha, take that comment. No, um... <laughs> and now um, you'll never know. Um... I, uh, that guy's never gonna watch <laughs> our stuff again. Yeah, Plus, really. he was a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, so uh, oh that tells yeah, you all we, you know, we I guess. spurned him far too much for him to return. Uh, I think Sangomon is just weird enough uh, to be it because I don't know what the hell that could mean. That's fair. I'm choosing Sangomon. Okay. I am trying to figure it out. I can't figure Kyle. it out. <laughs> Even though I like a Nemomon, I'm picking Coromon because <laughs> Coral. That is where I <laughs> got that fake name from. Was Coral? Oh. Um, I and I got Anemone is the inspiration for a Nemomon, which is also not it. And the Coral Reef was where I got Reefmon from. The correct answer is <laughs> Sangomon, which is okay. Japanese for Coral. Okay. 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 Oh, <laughs> I, I figured it was going to be Japanese for coral. I just didn't want Did to consider whether or not <laughs> you did that or they did that <laughs> that part of our videos is always scripted it um, is it is always <laughs> Nico yes. is like a glutton for pain yeah um, he's always um, like we have to sneak it in there one of these mm -hmm. times I was gonna say I knew <laughs> that Apple, you'll never believe it's his idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> um I do have uh <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy shit. this <laughs> time. Guys, I've got a really good idea. Here is his card art. <laughs> Ooh, I really like that card art. Oh, that's rad as hell. It's cool. yeah, it's super yeah, cute. A real just nice angle of the butthole coming coming up. With no text. That's Man, fuck excellent. you. Yeah. Yeah, no tech. Jap- J- Japanese is not a real language. That's not text. Um that's just like, someone no scribbled text on the card. On the fucking picture, you troglodyte bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst video we've ever made. That guy was right. We should Christ. script our content. You say that a really um, bad I'm, start. You say that constantly. <laughs> I do. I know. Um so the lore It's bad improv. Don't replete yourself too many that's times. That's okay. I never claim to be good at it. The lore for Sangelmon. Uh he's a mollusk digi mollusk. Digimon, hmm. can't say mollusk apparently, uh, that lives in the shadows of the net ocean. It often mingles with other species due to its gentle disposition and cheerfulness. It uses the back of Shellmon as a resting spot, and Ganymon have been witnessed trimming the coral protruding from its head. So that's cool. This is also why we can't do scripted content. I can't read, so... <laughs> If he ever slips up, he's reading off a script. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna start reading my lines. Yeah. Um Yeah, but that's that's this little guy. Cool. Yeah. I like I kinda love him actually. I, I wasn't I wasn't too sold on the front facing bit, but in mm-hmm. the ocean actually swimming, that's kinda awesome. Yeah. He's a goofy little guy. And I like that uh, the fish being on the opposite side, swimming beside him, implies that it's not attached to him and is, in fact, Mm -hmm. a separate sentient creature that just is also him, I guess. It is a little friend. Or it it is a wind-up, so there there is a chance that he's winding it every time it stops and just swimming in the direction (laughs) it's going. Damn. (laughs) He loves watching it go. uh, That would be impressive to, to wind that up with your little butthole tentacle things. No, it's much easier. You just have to yeah, use no. one. Yeah, like, mm. yeah, like, you're right. Yeah. Maybe just that's going to be the description of one of his attacks, which we're going to do next. Um, but he, suck. Has two, <laughs> he has two attacks listed and one that I made up. And I want you to tell me for one point which attack I made up. We have Refuge Mist, Stinger Tendril and Coral Pressure. Oh, yeah. Coral pressure, baby. Give me that. (laughs) Coral pressuring you into sparking up that reef. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Dude, college again? That's crazy. (laughs) My guy. (laughs) Jesus, more like single bong, am I right? Wow. Okay, I don't see where Refuge Mist is coming from in this guy, so I'm I'm gonna choose that. Okay. No, clearly you made him ink, so I'm picking t- uh, Stinger Tendril. I can't believe we actually all picked different things. That's, yeah, but, that's, what you uh, did, job. so... We did a good job. One of you yeah, is guaranteed you to did. get a point. Um, the person getting a point is... Mitchell! Let's go! Stinger Tendril. Oh. Oh. Should I like keep track of this or? Uh, no, I th- I think I can hand <laughs> I think I can handle <laughs> so keeping track of a score of a Diddy Bog quiz. Okay. Okay. Right, cut to the end, being like, I don't know what the score is. <laughs> <laughs> before, before we just be wrong we... <laughs> about the score for the whole rest of the video. Yeah, yeah. Before we move on to the wow, next music. one on on this specific Digimon, I just want to slip in, and I'm going to specifically date this for my parents. Um, today, earlier today. Uh, I got like word about my new healthcare plan and uh, I I got um what was it uh Highmark whole care and my dad just would not stop saying different iterations of caring for your whole <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. very nice do you guys want to know what these attacks do or should I just hard pivot to the next round <laughs> I need to know what refugee mist does okay refugee refugee mist, mist? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, what's going on with that wind-up clownfish? Damn, what is Sangelmon doing on the border? Uh, we have the, My the God. description for Refuge Mist. <laughs> he oh. spreads a poisonous la- lacrimatory mist from its coral oh. when attacked by intruders. You guys want to try to pronounce this word? Because yeah, fucking, give it to I me. Can't. Here it is. Put it on screen. Lacrimatory? Sure. <laughs> Wind up fish. 
Latrinatory. <laughs> um, the, it means the, relating to tending to cause or containing tears. <laughs> Mist, misty tears. <laughs> yeah. That's Refugee all I got. Tears. For that, we really are bad at improv. Um, coral <laughs> pressure releases high pressure water from the end of its arms. So those little buttholes, they spray. Oh, okay. It's like a reverse enema. It, I mean, like he shoots that's it why out, I shoots the water out going of the butthole happen. instead of into the butthole. It's got it, a mouth. Those aren't mouths. <laughs> it, it, shoots, it shoots coral pressure out of not the coral part. Yeah. yeah. The coral so it pressurizes in the coral. The coral is the mm-hmm. friends we made along the way. I, I was so prepared to say it myself if you did not <laughs> say it. We're going to go into round two. <laughs> This is round two. It's an old guy, so Mitch is probably going to recognize it immediately. But you guys probably won't. Here he is. He's oh, ugly, and I yeah. hate him. <laughs> oh, no. He's in, what, uh, episode two of the anime? So, yeah, he's just awesome. if uh, Agumon was gross. Yeah. A little bit, he's yeah. Not, he is very Agumon-y. He's yeah. normalizing stretch marks, and I appreciate a pen. <laughs> You know what? I like him more now. You know, now to say that, <laughs> that's respect. fair. You know, it's a confident king right there. Yeah, we don't body shame on <laughs> fuel by sandwiches. We're all ugly in our own ways. Yeah, I've got like the freaky bean body with the yeah. Hue Neutron. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember what you said Dude, about me. I don't remember either, but I know the what you're referencing. The amount of people that are thirsty for you, Mitch, that just heard you refer to yourself as having a bean body. <laughs> <laughs> a freaky bean body. A freaky. I want that freaky bean. Yeah. God. I want to flick that freaky bean. <laughs> no. I got a freak head. on that bean. But on the inside, of, freaked bean. Speaking of freaked beans, what's this dude's name? Is the Shellmon, Hermamon, Beachmon, or Coastmon? Hermamon. Wow, you jumped on that quick. Okay. I want it. Okay. <laughs> Kyle wants that bean. <laughs> Nico, what are you going with? I I don't want it to be Beachmon or Coastmon. Why not? I guess I'll. I don't know. They feel dumb. bad. Shellmon <laughs> is what I'm choosing. Okay. That doesn't feel any less dumb. But that's I just okay. don't like the other two it's, worse. It's, it's more on the nose. Uh, mm-hmm. uh Mitch, who's correct? Uh, Nico gets a point. He does. <laughs> this is Shellmon. It is Shellmon. Wow. I also Ugh. did notice that his name was listed in the lore for mm-hmm. Sangomon. Yeah. And I thought, uh, I hope that they don't no. notice I'm saying that <laughs> and immediately forget no. it. So I don't fucking listen to you when you talk about the lore on these I things. I don't listen man. to myself when I talk about the lore. I just you, do it for our wonderful I'm zoning commenters. out and making sure I don't say something like, I was going to say that. <laughs> Fair, honestly. You know, honestly. I actually really kind of like that the the shell and the body swap colors when it evolves. Oh, ah, you know, you're I right. I didn't notice nice. that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, here's his card you? art, by the way, just so you have a different <laughs> angle. And he's got a little, uh, little, little, oh, yeah. what's his fuck laying next to him? I can never oh, remember his, his name. This has Gomamon? so much more character. Gomamon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always shocked at how much more character is on these cards. Oh, he's got mm-hmm. little butthole fingers. That's. He does. He's got little, suction cups. They're, they're little you freak. <laughs> The other buttholes. Um, I, I love the, the <laughs> like the character in the eyes. Like it's super. Mm-hmm. Like there's yeah. there's actual like personality to it. He's much cuter in the card art for sure. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word. He no, looks a little bit like, like I, I wouldn't use the word rat. <laughs> cuter. Oh, what little guy is right there with him? It's Gomamon. 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 He's one He's... of the the chosen partners for the original Digi Destined. Yeah. He was Joe, the, the one everyone hates. Yeah, Joe's a fucking dork. Here's a fun fact: in the original running of the 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 dub, the English dub for the anime, um, Sora refers to Joe as Sleepy Joe in one of the episodes. Wow, <laughs> which was a 1999 release, which so. means that I don't know where you land on the political spectrum, but someone pulled that from Digimon Adventure. <laughs> 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 And made yeah, it was that, like so they just pulled it out of like the deep depths of their childhood mind. There was like, <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> and they said it, and it, and it stuck. <laughs> That's something I can never use for trivia ever again. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. here's uh, more stuff you can't use for trivia ever again. The lore for Shellmon, which I have copy pasted from the wiki page. 
Um, Shelmont is a hermit crab-like Digimon that lives in the shallower seabeds of the net ocean, in quotes. Although it has a turtle-like appearance when settled inside its shell, it actually has a soft body like that of a mollusk. Because its body rapidly gets bigger as it grows, it switches homes each time until it reaches the size of a small mountain. Oh. That's not a form hmm. of measurement, but cool. Not How only tall that, are you in mountains? What? <laughs> How tall are you in mountains? Uh, one. Small? I, <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am exactly mountain one mountain. Not small mountain. Yes. <laughs> one, one regular mountain. Uh, not only that, it has a habit of settling into anything it is able to fit its body into. Uh, since it has low intelligence and a belligerent personality, one must take caution when coming across a Shelmon. I really hope somebody updates the wiki to say that uh, like a fun fact note that Tyler is bigger than Shellmon at its maximum size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. cause it's not, it's true. Yeah. We, we have to go to the wiki and update the, uh, an important character yeah. page. Can yeah. we get a Tyler for scale? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Well, Americans will use anything but the metric system <laughs> measured by mountains and Tyler's. We're, we're going to measure his attacks by, by truthness. All right. How many, how many truths are the attack? There's three real attacks and one fake one. And I want you to tell me okay. which one I made up for a point. Um, here we go. We got drill shell, spin shelter, hydro pressure and jet fountain. Mm. Do they carry over pressure? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't like spin shelter. Okie dokie. Why not? I really like spin shelter. Yeah, yeah I like it too, <laughs> especially because it plays into the lore of the of the Digimon as well. Hydro pressure plays into like the last form. Then jet fountain and drill shell feel like the ones that are the most like kind of not connected to the actual line. I think I had I had the biggest reaction to Jet Fountain, so I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, I'll pick Little Shell then. The other one I think okay. is not as great. Um, Mitch has once again dialed into the correct uh, name, and by correct I mean fake. Uh, Jet Fountain <laughs> is is what I made up. Huh. I hate my life. I didn't know this beforehand. <laughs> I don't believe you. Um, can you tell yeah. me what what uh, dr- Drill Shell does? It drills no, with a I shell. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, it, it tucks its body inside its shell and then spins at high speeds to strike the opponent. Now, what does Spin Shelter do? I'm glad you asked. Spin Shelter tucks its body inside its shell, then spins at high speeds, moving in a zigzag pattern. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that counts. Sure. Wait, so, wait, does it hit the opponent, or does he just, like, hit a real fast zigzag, like, check this shit I out, guess, big I, man? Maybe... It's like a it's like a fail safe. Like if he misses, then it's yeah. like, oh well, that wasn't drill. That was that was spin shelter. Actually. Yeah, you ever seen I something the size of approximately two thirds of a Tyler move it like this? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. That's like a medium mountain. <laughs> yeah, a medium mountain. A Kyle, as we call it. We're no, just gonna... Tyler said he's like a, a regular mountain. That's I'm a regular not a big mountain. mountain. Kyle's a medium yeah. mountain. Nico's well, a small and, mountain, and, and Mitch yeah, is a <laughs> crevice. He's negative height. <laughs> My when we stand next to each other, body. he's beneath the, the horizon. <laughs> crevice bean body. Oh, wow. You bean about my body bean crevice ass <laughs> fucking. No wonder Show your butthole me doesn't your work. Bean crevice. <laughs> and much like uh, Mitch's bean body, hydro pressure shoots liquid at high pressure. So I don't oh, yeah. want you to say that. Fast. Yeah, I've seen this man pee. I know what he's capable of. Um. <laughs> I like watching that urethra unfurl. No. No. <laughs> recently, I've been trying to give Digimon you Survivor said, chance. I watched this man pee. I know what he's capable of. I was like, that was a good little haha toss. And then there was a pause, and I was like, he's going to keep going. <laughs> well, we're going to keep going with this quiz right now, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> We're on to the new forms, the brand new forms that Digimon Liberator has has graced us with. And boy, are these things some weird fucking freaks. We got we got this oh. dude starting it off. Whoa. Oh, he's oh, a what weird does this remind one. Me of? Uh 
ruby weapon from from Final Fantasy Seven. I thought you were about to reference the the no. show Ruby, which um, uh-huh. I would kick you off the channel. <laughs> That's why I didn't say. It. Yeah, it's so strange. If you like Ruby, it, it, make sure to comment below so we can make fun of you, so um, we can block you, and then make fun of Tyler because he liked it first. I did. Right. I liked it before it mm. became dog shit. The head. Almost like the the teeth and the shape of it almost remind me of the the chest burster from Alien. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Yep. But like the markings on it are almost a little bit venom or like carnage like with the shape of like those blue splotches near where the eyes would be. Why goopy? You know what? My minus the horns, I'm kind of as like just from the head, I'm getting kind of like if Gang Orca was a Nobu. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. that too. Honestly, that's, like the, that's that's the realest shit you've ever yeah. said. You yeah, boy. I can't There's even. There's so many things on this that feel really disjointed, though. Well, it is. I a don't like the pressure dial. So. <laughs> yeah, the so, pressure dial with like stitches. staples, yeah. and then the the wildly different colored horns that are just stuck there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't clear. This thing sucks <laughs> i don't think it I, sucks. Like it. I, I like it i don't hate it. it i like it. it he's not my favorite but i can appreciate yeah. the uniqueness of i uh, feel like it's sorry I no go ahead <laughs> I, I feel like it's partially at least based off of a real slug because there are mm. real slugs that are this colorful yeah so. no it is mm. it is a hundred percent uh based on slug. a sea slug um yeah here are your name options like from- go ahead. We have <laughs> Glockismon, Sea Slugmon, Marin Bullmon, or Leaf Sheepmon. I'm whoa. picking Leaf Sheepmon. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, you put it in front of me. It's right there. And like you could, you could put four options every time. If Leaf Sheepmon's that, I'm picking it. You, it's just, it's, it's so delectable. It's like, it's like pick me, Kyle. I have to. <laughs> Come on! Um, weirdly enough, I'm actually also <laughs> going to pick Leaf Sheep Mod. <laughs> okay. There's something that's Delectable, tickling you know. my brain about it. It it might just be that you looked up different names of sea slugs, and <laughs> <laughs> there's something tickling me about it. But it does tickle. <laughs> okay, Mitch, what are you gonna go with? Um, I, I'm just getting like, I'm getting vibes off of. Glockismon, if not only because it's the only one that doesn't have a space in it, but also mm. I recently played Unicorn Overlord and it makes me think of Gloucester, which is like a okay. character with a similarly spelled name. Okay. I thought you were about to be with a similar body shape and design. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, um, so Nico actually was picking up on the vibe that uh I literally did just Google different versions of sea slugs. And mm-hmm. named all of the fake options after fake sea slugs, including sea <laughs> slugmon. The correct answer is Marin Bullmon, which is a <laughs> based on a, a type I of sea d- slug called the sea bull. <laughs> right. I hate I'm not that. A fan of it. And there's also oh, a, uh, a sea slug called the leaf sheep, which is where I got yeah, that from. That's, I, I could like I, I was remembering. I, wait, do I know what that one looks like? Uh, looks like a slug. I do. Oh, I've seen this guy before. Put him in chat, the, please. I don't actually yeah, know what it looks like. He's oh, so he actually, cute. It's, it's so believable. cute. It's but, believable. Yeah, it's, that this it's is based super off of a leaf believable. Slug. Like with the the tendrils on the back. Oh yeah, Whoa. that is actually it's, one of the cutest it's, it's animals I've really ever seen. It's a really good one. <laughs> That's awesome. I knew I had seen something about that fucker. Did you? Damn. Oh my god. And I can... please actually make leaf sheep mon. I would Wait. I would fuck with that so heavy. The yeah, tips of the favorite. leaves have different colors to them. Oh, wait. That's oh, cool. The... Look at this. This is a Oh! Whoa! Those That's are so awesome. Cute. It's an artichoke. What? I'm going to artichoke <laughs> you with some lore for uh <laughs> for Marin Bullmon. Actually, I'm also going to give you his card art first, which looks like this, and it's pretty cool. Whoa. Um, Good lord. Yes. Damn. Sea creature. Yes. Kaiju could, looking ass. He's yeah, punching that, that could, water. Damn. Very, I like it more in this. In this it's uh, rad really, as hell. It's very, very cool it's intimidating. art. intimidating. Damn. Yeah. Um, so, 
Uh, Marin Bulmon, or Marine Bulmon, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, is a mollusk Digimon whose body, whose whole body is covered in a mucus-like veil. It is often seen coexisting with Digimon such as Shellmon and Sangomon. That's fucking crazy, oh my god. <laughs> Who are also classified as mollusk types. Yeah, uh, although it has an extremely strong sense of territoriality and is merciless towards invading enemies that enter its territory, it also has a side with a strong sense of kinship in which it tries to protect the Digimon it is in a symbiotic relationship with. The mucus that covers its entire body is slimy oh. and reduces friction to the utmost limits. Since, since strikes and slashes are all hindered by its mucus, it boasts a high defensive power despite its soft body surface. In exchange, its movements are very sluggish. <laughs> uh, so it camouflages itself by slipping into the sand beneath the sea. Uh, and making only the tentacles protruding from the device on its back be visible. Uh, it preys on enemies that enter Jesus, its mother. territory by dragging them into the sand with the tentacles that extend from the ocean floor. So if one spots Marin, Marin Bulmon's tentacles, they should be cautious of its surprise attacks. They wouldn't be much of a surprise if you already can recognize that they're the tentacles. <laughs> of, at that point, that's on you. You get killed by that. I cannot believe... You just spoke for that long about the lore on this fucking thing. Yeah, this is why I didn't crazy. Uh, really insane. do this before. I don't actually know if people want this because the the video that I first added lore has not actually gone up on the internet yet as of the time of this recording. <laughs> so oh, no, I hope it. people don't hate that because it's in this too. I it's guess gonna we'll be find out fine. soon. They're gonna, they're gonna love I think, it. I think it goes it. up tomorrow. Oh. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The longer we've looked at this and the more we've seen like slugs that it pulled the ideas from, like the design elements into mm -hmm. like this al algam slug thing mm -hmm. is made me like actually like it. Surprisingly. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's I, actually, I still the only thing that I don't love that I agree with Mitch on is the pressure gauge. Yeah. And this like the stitches thing. Mm -hmm. Like I don't mm -hmm. know where exactly that came from. Like I don't. Yeah. Is it like I, a mechanical tie-in to the little fish from the beginning, maybe? It's, like, I mean, again, it's Digimon. I feel like sometimes right. they just have bits shoved in for the sake of yeah, having they, bits they shoved do just in. Kinda, I mean, this is um, another one that does just have belts on its biceps. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's always going to be great. <laughs> Damn. That'd be really hard to, like, bend your arm if you just had a belt covering your entire bicep. I would yeah. assume I don't have I mean, muscles, so I could joint. probably get away with it. But in general, I feel like that would be hard for the average person. It would um, be hard for a mountain to move with a belt around it. Uh, yeah, yeah it's true. Uh, we I have, argue it might be hard for a mountain to move. but <laughs> Unless you're talking about The Mountain, who I believe is an actor. I don't know. He... His given birth name was The Mountain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was born to play he that has role. No other name. Uh, no. Twenty pound baby. Definitely, <laughs> he's definitely not named Thor. <laughs> <laughs> we have attacks now for Marin Bulmon. Uh, he has two attacks. I made up one. Tell me which one I made up. We have Hydro Demolisher, Toxic Spread, and Deep Secretion. Oh. Toxic spread. Oh. <laughs> Secretion. My oh, God. no. <laughs> you know what? Hydro Demolisher. Okay. I'll let I'm... the weird ones exist. Okay. <laughs> I'm going with the one that I had the biggest reaction to again, because that's steered me the right way these, these past couple times. Toxic spread. Okay. Oh. I was expecting you to say you reacted strongly to deep secretion. I guess mm -hmm. I'll choose deep secretion. Yeah, cool. I didn't that react was, at all to deep secretion. Yeah, that was me. I, no. I was aroused by it, yes. Cool. I expect it. I love secretion. These could all be taken in a sexual manner. Um, To a way. Toxic in a way. spread? Sure. Yeah. Nico, the word spread, a, Nico. It, yeah. <laughs> A toxic spread like, is a non-consensual one. We don't like those. No, um, I, I just, that is a real attack, by the way. As a real attack, toxic spread is real. Um, so yeah, is the good. hydro demolisher. I came up with deep secretion. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Nico, Damn, you chose that one, correct? Yeah, look at that. 
Uh, it was yeah, Nico. Um, yeah. Every time I read Toxic Spread, I just keep thinking of like sitting at like a diner table and seeing like jelly spread, <laughs> like on like, a little cup, like, like raspberry spread, and it's just this Toxic Spread. I open up, I spread across my bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly very very similar to, to my the greatest enemy. <laughs> I get up tomorrow morning to put some Nutella on some toast, and I <laughs> like go to take a bite and go, no, this is the Toxic Spread. <laughs> It's very close to the actual attack description for Toxic Spread, what? which is sprays a viscous, poisonous liquid from the tubular organs concealed within its arms. Concealed? Oh, I God. don't know. That's an <laughs> organ? Yeah, it's the thing that's what, coming you think, out of You think arm. he's just born with a gun in his hand? Obviously, yes, that's gotta be Yes, it's a Digimon! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Every Mechanical gun parts in Digimon are has organs is actually an organ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I obviously I need us to isolate that sound bite and play it like <laughs> so just yes, it's a Digimon. <laughs> They're not real creatures. They're uh, data. <laughs> okay, gatekeeper. Um, a hydro demolisher shoots a high pressure what? stream of water from its what? mouth, not a gun arm. Okay. So not not the thing that looks like it's no. a heavily pressurized. So okay. uh, what that mouth do? He demolishes the, you hydraulically. Uh, what were you reminder saying? Reminder of the animations where Blastoise shoots hydro hydro pump out of its mouth instead of its cannons. Reminder yeah. that that exists. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No no defending that one. Very fair. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that well, we're on to the final evolution stage of this brand new Digimon line. This is the. Uh, and everything newest forms come out as i said this art literally came out this week before it was just the tr- the cards and the official art did not exist prior to this week when we're recording this and here is the official art for the final form oh oh, oh yo oh it's like a oh it's no, like a I can't. With a slug. it's got white belts this time I, oh yeah white belt and a roof <laughs> i started to say i started to say it's like melodic but i stopped myself because i immediately like disagreed with myself <laughs> it was just the first thing i could think of and yeah. i fully abandoned that it's a pretty sea serpent it must be mylotic yeah, yeah. i was like oh it's elegant it has too many shingles <laughs> to be mylotic <laughs> damn it they really got <laughs> that <laughs> my, my, that poor mylotic when it was a feebass had the it, it had chicken pox it got the shingles later in life Good Excellent. one. Um, what is this? What is this thing's name? Uh, is it this... made me laugh so much when I thought of it, and as I said, I was like, "You're really fucking stupid." But I started, and I'm not stopping now. You're not. You're not helping our case against John Twenty numbers. <laughs> Thank you for bad at improv. <laughs> This show. I'm um, sweating so much. <laughs> we have uh, your name options here. We have Polyceramon, Ryugumon, Ceratamon, or Aluminumon. Ceratamon. Like okay. serotonin? Uh, yep. no. Clearly, yeah. Spelled the Not same obviously. way on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it yet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Polyceramon. I kind of really like the name Polyceramon, actually. Yeah. I actually like I'm all gonna, of these names, if I'm being completely honest with you. I yeah, none of them are bad. They're all, they're all I, I want smart. it to be Polyserimon. Yeah. Is that what you're guessing? Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to choose Polyserimon. Okay. You were Original. also uh, going to pick the wrong answer. Fair. Um, Kyle, however, has also picked a different wrong answer. The correct answer <laughs> is Ryugumon, uh, okay. which okay. is okay. from uh, Ryugu. Which is uh, Japanese for Dragon Palace and was the supernatural oh. undersea palace of Ryujin in Japanese tradition. Oh, it also oh, comes from uh, the word Ryugumishi. Ry- Ryugumiushi. No word should have this many U's. Uh, a name applied to some sea slug species from the family. Oh. Polyceridae, which is where I got Polyceri from. Oh, wow. That's excellent. That's yeah. I, that's uh, actually listen, really good. It's a double so entendre, like, Japanese style. I like that. I like that a lot. Obviously, like not all names in the like translations are going to be great because a lot of the names are puns and wordplay based off of Japanese words that don't match up mm-hmm. in other languages. But like yeah. this one fucking rules. Yeah, oh, I, have to imagine, <laughs> I have to imagine the sea slug was probably also just named after Ryugu, mm. the palace from the supernatural. Still. Right. Japanese, I, whatever. 
it feels like you can tell that this is a more modern line because they are probably spent more time to make sure it made sense yeah. <laughs> instead mm. of perhaps bef- like in older days where they were just like fuck shit dodge just translate go get out yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah also in the older days didn't translate it they just kept it as <laughs> right right yeah. Yeah. also in the in the older days there were also a lot of like there was a champion and an ultimate and they had nothing to do with each other, but they were just barely similar enough that they were just like, okay, make them evolve. Like, yeah. So, I mean, when, like, when you yeah. start a franchise based on literally the concept of Tamagotchis for boys, you get some mm-hmm. weird evolution lines that don't make sense. That's kind of yeah. the, the, the point. But uh, Ryugumon actually has two cards. Both are full arts and both are beautiful. Oh, two um, already. Um, yeah. <laughs> He just Dang. just starts with two. One, I it must be like a secret rare like variant. I really but like this, this is guy. like the the regular card, which that's awesome. Is okay. Really, okay. really good. Yeah, yeah. Like deep sea. Yeah, I just like, like it. The, the fucking rainbow lights like coming in from the the sea ceiling, the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh! Yeah, mm. it's just it's a good card. And then um, uh, here's the uh, fuller full art card, which I imagine is like a rarer variant of it. Um, and this one has like a completely different Digimon back there, unrelated, just trying to bite him. Oh, yeah. Um, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I kind of prefer the first one just because of the color usage, (laughs) but they're both very good arts. Yeah. Um, I can see where the second one would probably technically be the rarer one because like, yeah, on, Mm -hmm. yeah, like actually across the whole card, Mm -hmm. but, um, might not actually be the rarer one. I just Mm. am assuming, um, here is. Three paragraphs of lore for Ryugumon. <laughs> Strap in. See if I can get through this without stuttering. It won't happen. You're about to find out that really quickly that people are going to be like, wow, I hate this. <laughs> yeah. I say, I, like when, when the video, when tomorrow's video goes up and I read the comments, I, I hope they're not all, man, I hate that fucking lore segment. I hope they don't do that again. Because yeah. it's Man, here this guy won't shut the fuck today. up. Yeah. Uh, here's, here you go. Uh, a Digimon with a beautiful appearance that resides in Ryushogu, an area of the ocean in the eastern digital world. It constantly emits a faint light from its translucent body, charming those who see it. Not only does it have a beautiful appearance, but also extremely high combat ability. It is revered as the lord of Ryushogu, as well as its guardian deity and the peace in this area, which is also known as a paradise for water-dwelling Digimon, has been brought about thanks to Ryugumon. It possesses both high intelligence and a calm disposition, although it has a nature that despises conflict, it will wield its mysterious power to the fullest to counter against those who cause harm to Ryushogu. It has the ability to absorb energy through the Serata Serata on its tail, and at other times share that energy with others, and also has the role of purifying Ryushogu to its normal state. What a fucking weeb. I really oh, like wow. this thing, actually. Surprise. Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's really sick. Yeah, yeah. It's very busy, but like in a way that like I understand why. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. It, it's it's busy with reason, mm-hmm. which is not something I say about Digimon ever, really. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and I I believe like a lot of the design inspirations are obviously based on like the the Japanese folklore that it's like based on too, mm-hmm. with it being like a dragon temple and shit. So like. I think it's a really good design. I, I really dig it. I like melodic, so obviously I, I like this thing too. I want to see more takes on sea serpent, sea slugs. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't think this is the only one, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember any others. Yeah, yeah I don't know. P- put in the comments below if there's other uh, sea slug things that you know about, Digimon or otherwise. What media has yeah, used yeah. the sea slug <laughs> to its full extent? Please let us know. Tell um, us about sea slugs. Yeah. I love sea slugs. Also, just subscribe while you're down there, because that would make us really happy. Um, I would actually, I would hate and that. And please provide us with a script to use, so we can bring John 20 numbers <laughs> back. Um, it's, it's People are going to be so, right they're going to be so like, God, these guys won't shut up about their comments. <laughs> I know. Oh, we <laughs> always have <laughs> attention. I mean, we also get hate comments talking about, I focus too much on hate comments. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I just think it's funny. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, here it is. we have two attacks for for this thing, and I made up a fake one. Tell me which one I made up. We have ceremonial four seas summon. 
purge of Watatsumi or Tide Flowing Jewel. Purge of Watatsumi is the one I will pick because okay. I think Tyler made a word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just made that up. Okay. Hey, yo, girl, yep. Watatsumi do. <laughs> wow. Cancel <laughs> us. <laughs> what are you picking? I don't want to. I can't remember how many oceans you said the Digimon world had. I hope it's 11, because um, that was a good movie. What, Oceans 12 was not as good. I never saw Oceans 13. Uh, George Clooney. <laughs> yeah, put in more stuff. <laughs> Dude, he's allergic to George Clooney. Whoa. My throat oh, it really hurts after that. T- uh, Time flowing those? jewel. Tide, tide flowing jewel. Tide pod jewel. Damn. We play the game, boys. Ceremonial four seas summon. (laughs) Damn. Well, the score currently was at uh, Mitch three, Nico three, Kyle zero. If my math is correct, Um, someone is guaranteed a point and someone is breaking that tie. The one that I made up is tide flowing jewel. So Mitch wins the quiz Mm. unless you guys want to go into a bonus round. But I don't think we really need to. I this kind of wraps up quite yeah. nicely. Yeah, um, I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the fake answer. But I just went onto the Ryujin lore wiki page and just pulled um. a random thing out of context. Um, Ceremonial Four Seas Summon raises only the water pressure in the enemy's surroundings, crushing them to death. Oh, wow. I love that. And uh, <laughs> Purge of Wadatsumi fires a laser from its brow. So there's that. On the brow? On the brow. brow. So one of them is a light show, and the other is... Torture. That scene... Instant death. It hits you with the Dwayne the Rock Johnson eyebrow, and then you just explode. (laughs) The other is the opposite of that scene in, like, Legend of Korra, where they make the air go around their face and suck the air out of their lungs, and then just, like, keep them from breathing. Damn. I mean, That was one of the hardest fucking death scenes in that franchise i just want to see ryugamon hit hit me and it just hit me with like a vine boom like every time it's like can you smell what the ryugamon is cooking it's a submarine with some billionaires in it. <laughs> oh.